good afternoon to all of you and welcome in the online learning session of bsc agriculture third semester course biochem 231 in previous lecture we learned how we can use the knowledge of biochemistry in the formulation of balanced diet and in today's session we will try to understand the role of biochemistry in the search of non conventional source of protein food or alternative sources of protein friends why there is a need to search the new and the alternative sources of food which can supply more food protein so we will see the historical resume of our food preferences food habitat so here we can observe the food consumed by human being so before the green revolution our food is much nutritious and we are getting the balanced diet then after the new varieties introduced into the market application of different agrochemical to increase the production and productivity responsible for elephant then after different outbreak then the modification in the human diet and because of that the our food consumption or the proper production of food is also there but the most of the people throughout the globe are serving from the malnutrition starvation undernutrition problem and most importantly here people are also suffering from the non communal diseases like the obesity then high blood pressure heart diseases and lungs diseases so these diseases are actually related to our food habitat the sugar level in the young generation is also increasing so that sugar in the blood also increasing and creating danger in front of young people so why there is a need to search the products of different food products and in the advertisement of different recipes we are frequently hearing that so and so food product supplying more protein the some particular powders so people those who are alcoholics the people the young generation who are the gym cautious or they are bit cautious or the affinity towards the health or they are much familiar to their health or much careful about their health those who are spending more time in the gym so most of the trainers and more most of the experts are suggesting the protein rich food consumption of protein rich food the athletes the sports person they are also preferring the food which supplies less fat and more protein so here why there is a need of protein or essentiality of protein is bit common regarding the common people we are also familiar about the importance and essentiality of protein in our diet because the protein is one of the most integral part of most of the enzymes hormones amino acids and other type of secretions and the different physiological and metabolic activities are also regulated by the protein the enzymes are also linked with protein as well as the genetic makeup also one of protein is also part and parcel of our genetic heredity or information so hence there is a enormous importance of protein in our diet but today's food is full of rich of fat rich of carbohydrate but the devoid of protein and because of that the people are suffering from different problems and to fulfill this or to though we are consuming the balanced diet or we are consuming the optimum diet but then also there is a hidden hunger in our body because of protein the 
people are suffering from stress like condition people are suffering from the fatigue people are suffering from the other types of weaknesses caused of because of the deficiency of protein and hence this particular aspect acquainted the attraction of scientists and other food people those who are working in food sector and the dietitians and the nutritionalist and the, and then after the people are moving towards the search of the non conventional sources of protein food so here the non conventional sources of protein food are listed in front of you few examples or few components of non conventional sources of protein food i have listed in front of you so these are already highlighted in front of you on blackboard so non conventional sources of protein food mycoprotein mycoprotein the protein which is obtained through fungus the protein which is obtained through fungus and most popularly used the mycoprotein in our diet is commonly popularly widely known as the mushroom so different strains and varieties of mushroom produced by people and nowadays in the hotel industry as well as in the food chain industry so mushroom is getting more popularity and as it supplies the 56% protein 32-50% protein and because of that the people or the cautious people or people those who are consuming the food rich, rich in protein so they are preferring this mushroom so here the button mushroom oyster mushroom then after the porci, uh, porcini mushroom so these are some popular strains of mushroom commonly consumed by people to get the benefit of protein then next one after the mycoprotein i'm explaining the highlighting points of this much other type of the fungus strains are available which are also producing the good quality protein which supplies good quality protein to human being as well as to the other animals so in case of feed industry also there is a more requirement of protein for cattle because the india is one of the leading country in the cattle population maintaining cattle population and because of that here there is a need to to, to feed to fulfill the diet of cattle also so there is a requirement of protein also so in case of human being we are studying so here the fungus protein or the mushroom one of the popular widely consumed product nowadays then next one the new concept it is called as the single cell protein so this single cell words so here single cell protein can be extracted from the microorganism like the bacteria like the fungus like the algae and some examples like the uh, aromosa then after the uh, polypa uh, then after the chlorella then the spirulina these species so some examples of the algae is listed in front of you then after the next one in case of the fungi like the aspergillus then after candida penicillium in case of bacteria the cyanobacteria uh, so these are bacterium or their products uh, their by products or their products are commonly rich in protein which supplies about 19% protein 24% protein 22% protein and which are found to be a more helpful beneficial regarding the health of common human being so these are some particular concept or components of the single cell protein then after we are also consuming people are also consuming some non conventional uh, components like the yeast this powder is also commonly used some other microorganisms are also used to ferment the product to ferment the food and then after this is also used as a non conventional source of protein food like in case of the japan so the fermented soya bean is one of the most commonly used product in japan and most popularly consumed the food product so the soya bean is fermented and with the help of microorganism and then after the this particular food product is popularly consumed in japan 
the pure fermented soybean so soybean is one of the food or the particular pulses the soybean rich in protein it supplies more than 30 percent protein and hence this particular fermented soybean product commonly consumed or soybean recipe commonly consumed in japan and in case of india nowadays the people are also adding the flour after the single cell protein next one is the leaf protein extract so here the leaf protein concentrate lpc so leaf protein extract so the leaf of the acaranth acaranth gelato sesvina solanum so these are uh, supplying the good quality protein and also the uh, responsible for supply of 20 essential amino acids required or commonly called as magic 20 to the body because uh, these are responsible for synthesis of most of the protein in our body some people are uh, suffering from the non or uh, the less absorption or digestion of protein into the body so for that also the leaf protein extract or leaf protein concentrate are found to be a, one of the most beneficial product so like the here some examples are like protein in front of you the here acaranth sastra supplies 90% protein more than 90% sesvina supplies about 15.4% protein then after the solanum species so these leaf protein concentrate supplies about 24% protein then next part is the insect nowadays because of the outbreak of covid 19 corona and then after through social media and through different type of the media we are other about or we are familiar about the food type or different animals insects consumed by the people of native of our neighborhood country so in that country people habituated to consume different type of insect different type of the other types of animals like snail sludge these animals and insects are also used for source of protein so many insect species found rich in protein and such type of insect are used by the human being for consumption purpose so so in examples i explained to the powerpoint presentation or on this slide images which are put in front of you so we insect which are commonly used as a source of protein or consumed as a source of protein so from where actually we are going to about the consumption of insect as a source remember the one of the most popular serial on the adventure series on discovery channel that is man versus wild and the host of this man versus wild the bear grill so this bear grill made the consumption of animals consumption of insect for the for the survival and then after the consumption of such type of insect pest as a source of protein is become popular after this thank you for watching this video and if you are get benefited with this video kindly and like this video and subscribe my youtube channel atul bondwe on youtube you can follow me on whatsapp you can follow on instagram as atul bondwe and you can also follow me on facebook